Welcome to Student Development Course 102. I'm Athena Corrales, I'll be your instructor. I'm going to give you a little bit of background information about myself and then we'll get right into the orientation of everything and how to maneuver your course. I'm a first generation college graduate student. I'm also second generation born in the U.S. from Mexico. My, I graduated from a UC and transferred, I, I graduated from a UC, but I actually transferred from a community college. So like myself, I went to a community college first and then I transferred to my school of choice. While going to school, I also had to raise two children and I worked part two part-time jobs. So I always tell students, if I can do it, I know you can do it because I had to. <laughs> That's definitely something that I always tell students, try to inspire them to do. So let's go into orientation and class expectations. I'll go over this week by week lectures on how you're going to access the course and show you how you will maneuver the course. Here's the home page. Of course, this is the uh, instructor's part of it, so you can see the background of it. This is not what you would actually see, but you would actually see this portion here, which will be your home page. So your home page will basically be where you're going to first log on and everything comes up. Um, this is just an introduction of yourself and talk about the full, the full time uh, class, um, semester by semester. Here is where I'm going to place the video I'm recording now. So this is where you'll find your orientation video. And this is your syllabus. I'll get into that in just a second. And here's your week by week coursework. So every week when you log on, let's say if you log on either on Sunday or Monday, you're going to click the week that we're in. I will give you announcements. Uh, of course, this week is very short. It's just the first week of class. I'm not going to have much for you to do this this uh, week. I'm going to have you review the orientation video, which I'm recording now, and I will have a quiz for you um, due by Sunday. So I will open this up for you. See, right now you can't click it. It's not open up. It's until Sunday, until Friday, sorry, and then it'll be due Sunday. This is your discussion you'll have for the week and you'll be able to click this and go to the discussion. Here's the discussion module. I actually have a video, which is how you're going to post your for, for your first discussion. If I tell you this is a video post, then this is how you're going to post. Usually I would do the video and then I would write a written. So then you kind of know like both ways what I have to do for your post. So you will reply with the video. So get all prepared because yes, you will be replying with the video. This is how you're going to reply with a video. I'm going to click reply. And then I'm going to go to record upload media. So here it's going to basically tell you from here. It's going to go to webcam and then you can start recording. And here is this. And if I finish, I'm going to click save and then it, can, it will post after that. Excuse my messy background. <laughs> and then you can post your reply once your video is uploaded. Okay, so I'm not going to post that. I'm going to cancel it. But that's how you'll get to see. So right now you'll see uh, no post because I have it blocked. So you can't see anyone's else yet until you post. And so your first post, your discussion is here. But ever, uh, even if I ask you to just do a reply, you will type in your message here. See, I'm not making anything, but this is, and then you will post reply. Okay, that's how you will do your discussions. So you do have your options of you can see your grades, but you can always go home. On the right hand side, you also have a to do list. So let me go into student view so I can show you what it looks like on your end. So this is what you guys see. And then you'll have on your right hand side a to do list. So don't just go off of this to do list because if you I actually post videos in week by week. So if you go to the first week, I, I don't have much there. But if I go to the second week and I ask you to talk about a TED talk and you're like, where is the TED talk? I most likely put it in the week that we're in. So you want to go ahead and look for that. I'll, also, I if you can tell i actually locked the future weeks i know you can't work on future work until i unlock it so first week one is unlocked right now you can definitely click it and get into week one 
will be going all the way to your uh, final weeks. I'll talk about this in the um, syllabus in just a second, but this is the books that we'll be using. For three to four, for about three weeks, we'll be reading this book here. It's a very small book and not many pages, but I do allow you enough time to read it, of course, because we all have a life and things going on, but I do require you to meet the, the standards of reading this, this book. I did put it in the bookstore. You can find it on um, Amazon. Um, I think you might be able to find a downloaded PDF version. You can definitely check for that. Although, um, here is our actual book. You click it and you can actually download it. And then here is the book that we're using. And I am a book holder. I like to hold books in my hand. So if you do have a tablet, it might be easier for you to read this on a tablet if you like to actually hold things. But this is gonna be your entire book. It is online and the good thing it is free. I know some of you are like, well, I like to have the book, but the good part is that it's definitely free so you don't have to pay for any, any book. All right, let's get into the syllabus. I think I might have had it up. You go ahead and click that to access your syllabus. And here is the syllabus. It goes over um, week by week uh, what we'll be going over. Just be mindful this could change, so always keep up to date with on Canvas. So let's say a week and I see that the class kind of staggered a little bit, I'll push something off or I might add something in there. So this is always subject to change. So just be mindful. The main thing for this is to let you, you know what a course expectations are and what you will gain out of the course. The course catalog description is this is an introductory course designed for students seeking direction in setting academic and life goals. Highlighting the environment of well-rounded prepare academic success. Major topics include personal interests, abilities, values, educational planning, goal setting, and academic success strategies. And that just talks about upon complete completion. So we do uh, have a lot of um, learning outcomes here for you. So you can go ahead and go over that um, on your own time. <clears throat> the biggest thing is how to distinguish between UCSU, UC, independent institutions, higher education, success. I like to talk about success, um, growth mindset. So there's a couple of things in here I do like to, to discuss. Okay, this is important for the class. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I want to, you guys to know is that the class is entirely online. I don't require you to meet with me on specific times and days throughout the week. Although if you do um, require extra help, I can definitely set up a Zoom meeting that, um, you know, if you, no one can attend or two or three and you guys can attend and you had questions and I can definitely open that up for you guys. Um, I don't mind um, giving you guys that. So we were prepared to watch uh, videos and video posts online and read other people's post discussions. Knowledge of navigating the computer is highly recommended. So hopefully you do know how to upload and download files and um, fill out PDFs. And if not, then I can always show you how to do that as well. I need you to participate in these class discussions. This is a very big part of your grade and I'll get into that in just a second. Since a counselor teaches this course, some issues might spark some personal issues. If at any time you feel uncomfortable, you can always please let me know um, of your concerns. Again, please be respectful to those in your class and your, and your peers. I want this class to be a safe and enjoyable place for all of you students. There might be times when we discuss personal experiences and viewpoints, um, and that, that uh, there also might be material presented to you that might be sensitive to you in nature. So I'm um, just be mindful of these um, these uh, issues that might come up. Of course, this is mandatory, but it's online, so that means you need to check it um, Canvas either weekly. Uh, most likely, you're going to check it weekly, but I would tell you just to get on a, a couple of times out the week. When I have students take an online class, I let them know, hey, just get on a couple of times out the week, so then you feel like you're actually in class and that you have something to do or need to complete or read, um, definitely um, need you to complete your assignments because I don't accept any late assignments. Um, if it's 1201, I can de technically say it's late and that will be your responsibility to get it to me on time. 
So please, if you do have questions, go over the assignment early on in the week. So if you see the assignment and you're not sure you don't get it, I'm not going to be able to answer you on a Sunday for the grade, the class assignment that's due on the Sunday. So just be mindful that I'm, I might take about 24 to 48 hours to get back to you. Um, I just don't have my emails on hand, but I definitely do check them frequently. I check it through Canvas because that's how you can contact me through Canvas inbox and also through my email. I don't have any can class cancellations because we're online, <laughs> so that won't be happening. Uh, as a member of college, this is just the student handbook. It talks about uh, fabrication, academic dishonesty, plagiarism, cheating. Um, you guys are all in college now, so I just want you guys to be mindful that there is ways that to find out if a student is cheating. Um, I don't want you guys copying and pasting. Um, that's just part of your integrity that we want you to keep here at San Bernardino Valley. I have all kinds of uh, resources for you guys. I'm going to tell you that um, this is the website that you can go to student support services. If you click it, it would definitely take you there. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> um, but it definitely takes you to all of the, um, the resources here. We're closed, of course. We're not on campus right now. Um, but that just talks about some of the areas there. Let's keep on going down. Okay, here is the part that I want to let you guys know about is the assignments. Um, adding us this all together, it should be 450. I'm actually going to double check that because I I'm a double checker. But you will have Canvas uh, video quick searches. So in the in syllabus, you'll see quick post search three of them, and this is just basically you doing a quick search on using your Google um, search engine and then posting a video about it about your search that you found. So those are not very um, difficult to do. I do have a time management paper we're going to work on um, mid uh, semester. Throughout the semester, I will give you some TED Talks you get to watch and give a review about them. You only have two quizzes. I'm not a big test taker. I'm not about giving tests um, because one thing is you can technically look up the answer sometimes and I really want you to know the information so I'd rather you write about it and so then I can see that you really understood it. We are going to have a book review and that's going to be over the four agreements. A success presentation um, that's going to be about um, when we hit the success uh, chapter. An inquiry paper. Actually what other Classes call it is a research paper, but I don't like that word. So it's going to be an inquiry paper that will be due at the end of the semester. You'll have 10 class activities. You have an educational plan. So this is required for most of you who are in um, the promise. So you will have a, you will need a comprehensive educational plan completed. And all I want to see is a copy of it and that it's been done within the last um, few months. It can't be something from two years ago, a year ago, it has to be something more relevant. So I do need you to, and I will go more into depth about that. You will have all semester long technically to submit this educational plan. I advise you not to just to wait to the last minute because sometimes it's hard to get an uh, appointment with a counselor. You will have a final presentation and then this is what you'll have a quiz on this week, which is the syllabus quiz. So it's not not difficult it's only five points but it is something that we get to start adding to your points your debt class discussions definitely add up it's about 80 points and this just talks about what I expect of you for a B C D and F so you can tell what how you're completing your assignments and what I expect from you and if you're uh, going to be getting um, credit this goes a little bit more in depth on what I just discussed about your assignments and here is the week by week courses at uh, classes so you'll get a fill on um, you know week by week what you'll be covering and of course this is subject to change and our last week which we're looking at is oh it's actually December not five so that's wrong this is actually December thanks for <laughs> myself realizing that right now but we're actually going to be in December here so our last week is going to be 12 13 of that week and that will be finals week This sums up our orientation, so you will get a little quiz on this. So expected just this little 15-minute um, orientation. 
to be something you just review back to.